Hey everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me for this week's Friday Haul. It is Friday, February 17th. Hope you had a great week and that you had a nice Valentine's Day. Um, yeah, everything was good here. We usually don't go out to dinner. I just, you know, don't like a lot of crowds, especially on Valentine's Day. So I made a nice dinner and um, the kids and I made chocolate covered strawberries, which we do every year. So we had that for dessert and yeah, it was nice. So um, I wanted to address something. Um, there was a scammer who was commenting on all of the comments on my giveaway video, um, having or telling people to uh, that it was me and uh, that you're supposed to message him or her on a Telegram app. I'm so sorry about that. A bunch of you let me know. Uh, some people thought that it was legit or were asking if it was legit, and it's not. I would never, um, you know, like ask you to message me on some other app or, or you know, pay me for anything like that. Um, if I'm doing a giveaway and you are a winner, I will have you email me at my email address. And that's the only way we will be in contact, either that or like um, Instagram. But um, I am so sorry about that. I did block them and reported them. And hopefully uh, everybody else who saw that uh, reported it as well. So I feel awful. I hope nobody, you know, was scammed or anything. So again, you know, it wasn't me. So I am very sorry about that. So let's go on to some happier things like shopping. So I did get a bunch of stuff this week. This first thing is of course, Hello Kitty, and it's a Easter Hello Kitty. I got this at Buy Below for $5. Look how nice and big this is. From the top of the ears to the bottom, it's about oh, almost 12 inches. Yeah, so, so cute. She's got little um, Easter bunny ears that you can pose a little bit. They're, they have kind of like some wire inside and a little strawberry outfit. So I had to get this, isn't that cute? So I got that, she's gonna stay in my craft room with my strawberry pusheen, which is somewhere around. Okay, just stay there for a second. And then I got a couple of die sets from Surprise Creation. I love their nested die sets. They're just so nice and versatile and such a good price. All right, Hello Kitty, we're gonna have to move you. So this first one <clears throat> is called the Large Stitch Rectangle. And this has uh, double stitched rectangles. So it'll uh, cut out a rectangle that has stitch lines around it. And then it will leave stitch lines around the opening as well. So this comes with two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13 pieces, I believe. And the biggest one, it's huge. It's, uh, let's see, it's, it's over six and a half inches long and eight inches up and down. So it won't fit in probably in a standard die cutting machine, but it'll fit in like a, a Big Shot Plus or something. But you know, like I always say, you could just use the middle pieces and it's still a really good value. So I got that one. And then I also got this. This one is called the Double Sewing Oval. And this one has the stitch lines that uh, like kind of cross over each other. And I do have the rectangle or square one of this. So I wanted to get the oval as well. So this one comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 pieces. And I will link these both down below. This one I bought for $7.10 and this was $8.48. And they were free shipping, of course. They took a while to get here, but that's okay. I wasn't in a hurry and I really um, like Surprise Creation and I knew they'd be worth it. And I have used th them already. They work great. I will show you um, a project in a little bit that I made with those. All right, so I also got an order in from Etsy. I needed some new like cabochons to decorate my little pies that I made. So I ordered from this company I've never ordered before called Velvet Kumo. And that's what their business card says. I'll leave their link down below as well. So I got a bunch of cute little cabochons. Let me bring over my little dish so we could see. And I'll show you the little pies that I use them into. This one is a little pack of um, different fruits and stuff. And I think I used something from here already. Let me see. I don't know. Actually, I don't think I did. Uh, so it has a cute little flower, a strawberry, 
a little basket with the strawberry and a pineapple in it. And these are flat back. This one is a little apple tree. So it's a little tree that has apples on it and then a watering can with apples. So isn't that cute? Got that. And then I got this pack of just apples and I like the size. They're not too big, but not too small either. And I did use one of these in my project. And let's see. This one, these are pumpkins, but they're like brown. So um, I like the brown pumpkin look, but I don't know. I might paint them when it comes time to uh, use them in projects. It just depends on what color you know projects I'm gonna use them for. But they're like half uh, pumpkins. Let me open these, you probably wanna see them. And I have to put them away anyway in like a little um, box or something. So yeah, aren't those cute? I figured while I was ordering, I would pick those up. Not that I need pumpkins right now. And then I got the, oh, look at these little bunnies. These are so cute and they're small. Sometimes you get cabochons and they're like really big, you know? I just, I like the smaller ones. So look at those little guys. These are, let's see, they're uh, less than a half inch long and uh, like three eighths of an inch across approximately. So you get a whole bunch of them. I just love them. I love the color. They're pink with darker pink and in the inside of the ears and then aqua bows. So I had to get those. I haven't used them yet, but. And let me open the apples so I could show you what they look like because I didn't open those. So yeah, aren't they cute? They're nice and like half round. Again, they're cabochons and very simple, like a matte finish. Okay. And then I got this pack of strawberries. I do have strawberry cabochons, but I needed some smaller ones. So I like that these are not like the really big ones. I like the big ones, but sometimes you just need the smaller ones. So I got a pack of those. And again, I will link the shop down below, but you can go ahead and, you know, look through and search for these different things. These are peach halves, but they have like little heart shaped pits on the inside. And they're more pink than peach color, but that's okay. Aren't those cute? I love the little shape of those. So I didn't use these in a project, but I used the other peach ones that I got that I'll show you in a second. And they come with, let's say five, this one comes with 10. I think they most of them come with 10. Let me move these other ones out. And then these are the other peaches and these do not have the little pits on the inside. So I want to try them both out and I actually used this one because it was uh, just, fit, oops, dropped one. These, it just fit better on my project, which I'll show you. But I love the light green leaves on them and they have like a little dimension to them. I don't know if you could see that on the side, just like a real peach would. So very, very cute. And then I got these carrots cause I was making like um, a carrot theme pie. So I wanted to put a carrot on top, come on. And these have little pink flowers on them. Cute, right? And just such a nice small size. I think they're all like six millimeters or something. I don't do millimeters. Oh no, way more than six. These are, um, <laughs> I don't know, like 10 millimeters. Yeah, so very, very cute. And then I saw these little snowmen that I just picked up for, you know, future projects, but I love the colors of them and they're so cute. They're little snowmen and they have blue scarves, red hat and, and buttons and little pink rosy cheeks, cheeks. And they have such a cute expression too. These only came with five, but that's fine for that. And then look at these, you guys, <laughs> these little pool floaties. I don't know what I'm going to use them for, but oh, they are so adorable. And they're made out of, I really don't know. It probably says on the listing, but you get five of them, all different colors. Yeah. I mean, these are so cute. I will do something with these, some sort of 3D project or shadow box or something, but I just had to include them in my order because they're so cute. So that's what I got from Velvet Kumo and the shipping was really reasonable. It was like four something. So uh, again, I'll link them down below. So that was that shop. And let me just move those little um, bags out of the way. 
All right, um, I got a few things from the Target Dollar Spot. They are slowly putting out the Easter things in my area. I picked up this little cake stand and it was $5. It's, it's plastic, it's not glass. And it's got a cute little bunny on the top and it's got like a cream colored base. I thought this was really, really cute and um, this will be great to put some decor in. So this is, does it say how big it is? No, I'll just measure it quick. Um, let's see, about five and a half inches across. So nice size and it's okay if it's not glass for me. Um, I do have some glass cake stands and I don't need glass for everything, especially seasonal decorations that I'm gonna pack away and hopefully not break in the, in the totes. So there was that. And then I got this set of like little decor pieces for tear trays. So this was $3 and they call it a prop pack, truck carrot and carrot farm. They had a couple of different ones. I like this little wood block that says carrot farm, but this little like basket of carrots was so cute. And then a cute little wooden truck. Let's open this up so we could see what that uh, carrot basket thingy is. All right, so here's a little wood sign, which is fine for a tear tray. And then, oops, didn't open it quite all the way. Here's a little bag of carrots. That's so cute. Right? That could even go in there. Actually, maybe all these things could. And then the little truck with the carrots. So very, very cute. $3. I thought that was great. You would think something like that would be $5 at the dollar spot. So there's that. And then let's see. Oh, I got a couple more of the wooden trays. I, I like to get these for the different holidays. So they had three of them. I got two different ones. I got the fresh eggs and this could be used any time of year, not just Easter, of course. And this has like a whitewashed finish. And then I got a carrot farm one and it's a locally grown carrot farm. And this is just like the natural wood. I forget what the other one looked like. I don't know, but I do like those. So I picked those up and that was it from the dollar spot. And let's see. Okay, uh, Dollar Tree, I got a couple of things too. I got another pack of the Peeps Bunny Mini String Lights. I think they're so cute. And then, I don't know if these are new or not, but I, I don't remember seeing them before. They're little candles. There's this cute little chick and they had um, this blue color and I got the pink, the light pink, and then they had like a darker corally pink. But I just got these too. I thought they were so cute and nice substantial size too. So I got those. And from Dollar Tree, did I get anything else? I got a book that I'm reading. I forgot to bring it down, but uh, once in a while they have some good books in the, you know, adult uh, fiction section. So I've been reading books from there lately. All right, uh, let's see. Okay, scrapbook.com. I got an order in from them. I think I told you I was expecting an order from them, but so it came yesterday or the day before. And this was the freebie this time, which I love when they have freebies like this. This is the Happy Easter um, 8x8 paper pack. And this is by Violet Studio, I think. Yeah, Violet Studio, which is Crafter's Companion. And this is their new line. I think it might be exclusive to scrapbook.com or at least some of the products are. So yeah, this was a freebie. I thought it was uh, a really nice one. 10 beautiful designs and let's see. 180 GSM. I don't know what that means in terms of non-metric, but let's take a look at what they are. So there's this pretty floral paper. Two of those, three of those. And then these cut apart. There's no bunny like you. Wishing you the happiest Easter. Have an excellent Easter. Somebody loves you. I know you can buy this now too on scrapbook.com. It just happened to be a freebie on that particular day. There are these pretty stripes. So three of each. And then, oh, this is cute. This bunny with her eyes closed and like hot pink carrots and hearts, polka dot backgrounds. Nice aqua background too. One, two, three. And then this kind of like random splatter polka dot page. The colors are very pretty. And then the text one with love at Easter. Hey there, hop stuff, you're a good egg. 
There's, what is that say? There's no bunny like you, I guess. All in different colors. That's really pretty. What a cheerful daisy card or page with the aqua backgrounds and little yellow circles on the flowers. So three of those, some more cut aparts. Don't worry, be happy. These would make cute little cards. I'm so excited. Very simple graphics, but very cute too. You're a good egg, so excited. All the different eggs. That's cute. Nice like pinkish purple background. And let's see. Oh, and then a pretty yellow gigum. I like that one. Love any yellow paper, especially gigum. And that was it. So yeah, nice freebie. I didn't get anything else from that collection, even though I picked that up as a freebie. Um, I got some waxed bead thingies from, uh, this is from Be Creative. Yeah, Be Creative, right? So they're honeycomb wax melts, and this is the Happy Hearts collection, or Happy Hearts assortment. So it comes with this light yellow, this pretty like mauve pink, kind of a purple. I like that green a lot. I thought that was a nice green, kind of like metallic. And then there's some blue as well. So I want to mix, oh, I keep dropping everything. Um, I want to make some more wax seals. So I thought this was a really cute little pack. So I picked that up. And then I got some more flat backs. I don't know, I'm in like a cabochon kind of mood. So I love buttons galore and more. You know, I used to design for them. So I picked up these. These are new. They're little lollipop flat backs, and they look like little Mickey Mouses. So they come with, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six pieces, and six. One, two, three. Yeah. How are, oh, there's only one pink and one blue, and then two yellow and two purple. Sorry, I was confused there for a second. But <laughs> yeah, very cute, right? So there's that. And then I got these flat backs. This is the breakfast collection. It comes with a little frying pan and a spatula. And then two little eggs. Look how cute those are. And then a donut, a croissant with sprinkles on it, a cup of coffee, and a fried egg. I just thought that was adorable. So I got that one. And then I got this set as well. These are combo hearts and just like, you know, conversation hearts. So I'll keep these for next year. They have all different little sayings on them and they're kind of like from pink to peach different you know ombre of colors there so yeah got those and then I picked up a few things from the new doodlebug collection which is over the rainbow I think so I got these shape sprinkles and these are little ladybugs with little tiny hearts as well oh so adorable so it's called little ladies and then I got some shamrocks and some little daisies and then some little enamel dots as well. This one's called Lots of Luck, Lots of oh Luck. And then I got the little six by six paper pad. I didn't wanna go crazy with this collection. Um, there are a good amount of gnomes in it, which are not my favorite. So um, yeah, I just skipped over that and just got a few of the things I liked. Um, I do like this, well, let's look, 24 double-sided cardstock. This is over the rainbow, and yeah, so let's see what they have. I love that their 6 by 6s are double-sided. A lot of companies don't do that. So this is a tiny little collage print, all the different graphics that are in this collection. So it's kind of like St. Patrick's Day, but doesn't have to be. I mean, the shamrocks and those little leprechaun guys leprechaun gnomes look St. Patrick's Day-ish, but everything else does not. So, And then you have this shamrock page. The back of that one was a stripe. And that, whoops, the back of this one has these strips. So super cute. Use it for spring or St. Patrick's Day. Look at this page with the um, little flowers and then the ladybugs and snails and butterflies. That is so adorable. And the back has orange flowers and then a stripe. Oh, cute tags on the other side of that. That's really cute. Good for journaling, scrapbooking. And then this side has some mushrooms with, they're kind of like hot pink on a blue background. And then some cut aparts on the back for journaling. And then a polka dot page with all the different colors. And all oh, these cut aparts are super cute. Great for little tags or just sentiments on your cards. 
yeah, those are cute. And then another cute page with the ladybugs. This is just the ladybugs, not the other kind of bugs. And flowers and four-leaf clovers and shamrocks. And then there's um, that plaid kind of page, different colors, tiny little rainbows, and tiny little clouds on the other side of that. There's some big polka dots. And then more cut aparts, these cute little ones. I'm so lucky that you're my friend. You bright my day. Gnome, sweet gnome, wishing you well. That's cute. I like that. Hello, sending lots of love your way. Look how cute that is. Love you no matter what. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. We wish you the best. Have a beautiful day, best day ever. There is no one like you. And then little gnomes on this side. Gina, I'm gonna send this to you. <laughs> And then some hearts, teeny little hearts, a tonal print there. And then tiny little flowers and clovers and stuff. And the back of that is a really cute, tiny little um, polka dot. I like that color green. And then cut apart tags, those are super cute. And the back, Doodlebug always does that, finishes the back of the tag so nicely. And then I think it repeats there, right? Yeah. So very, very cute, right? Over the rainbow, that's called. And I also picked up the new Distress Oxide in Lost Shadow. It's a very pale gray. Um, I used it in a project that I think I'm gonna show in Saturday Morning Makes, but I do like it. It's just really, really pale. And then I've been seeing people get this paper collection at Tuesday morning, but um, you know, Tuesday morning is not around me. Actually, did you see Tuesday morning is closing like 50% of their locations? If you go to their website, they have this huge list of all their store closings. It's really sad. Um, I heard somebody say it was like most of the ones on the West Coast. So, and of course, the only one that is reasonably around me uh, with an hour's driving distance is closing. So I won't be going to Tuesday morning probably ever again unless I'm traveling somewhere. So I knew it was going to happen because that one looked really sad and depressing and they hardly had anything. So I wasn't shocked at all. But still, it's so sad. I miss Tuesday morning. I like watching everybody else's hauls from Tuesday morning. So anyway, um, yeah, so my point of bringing that up was I've seen a bunch of people, including Tina, who's Crafty Bean. Hi, Tina, if you're watching. She had picked this up from Tuesday morning, and this is Flower Shop by Kaiser Craft. And I think you got it for like $7.99 or something, right, Tina? But this was 11 something on scrapbook.com. So, you know, I got it. Um, I really liked it, and I thought that wasn't too bad of a price. So it's a 12 by 12 paper pack, comes with six patterned 12 by 12 double-sided papers, two sheets of each design, and a 12 by 12 bonus exclusive coordinating sticker sheet. And this came out in, I don't know, doesn't say, but it's been out for a while. And I have been looking at it for a while anyway. Um, and then scrapbook.com, it said that there were four left. So I got one. If you're interested, hopefully now there's three left. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's in here. I love Kaiser Craft paper. It's, it's kind of shabby, but kind of farmhouse at the same time, kind of cottage. I just like everything about it. So this is the uh, cover sheet, which is nice and thick. I definitely will save that to use these little squares of fabric fabric uh, paper. So this is the first page. It's got this like wood uh, looking print with different patterns on each uh, slat of wood. So it's really pretty. It's called weatherboard. And then the back has these like weathered polka dots. And then this is the branding strip on the bottom. That's nice. So it's got like the, you know, all the information on one side and then you can use the other one. That's a great idea. So two of those. And then this page is just beautiful. It's just so cottagey, and I love that. I love that aesthetic. Um, this one is called Afternoon, and it's got like an aqua background with these pretty flowers, just so nice. And then some script on the back of that on like a peachy pink background. I can't read that. I don't even know what language that is, but 
it's not English, possibly French. Let your ideas bloom and so will your dreams. Kind of corny, but it's okay. <laughs> it's still cute. And then there's this page that has this pretty window on the top. You could easily cut that off, you know, like divide this into six by six sections. So I love that one. That's called Sunroom. The pretty butterflies, blues and peaches. And then the back is this pretty like watercolor gingham. Very nice. Family and friends are life's greatest gift. Two of those. Love this one too. More florals. I just really love everything about this. Isn't that nice? That one's called Conservatory. My favorite place is Among the Flowers. Beautiful. I love this page with the pretty windows. You could even color those in if you wanted to. Two of those. And then this page that's called Garden Path and it's got the watering can filled with flowers, butterfly, more butterflies. Very vintagey looking. Oh, I love this page. Oh, that's one of my favorites. I will carry you in my heart wherever I go. Beautiful. That's pretty. Isn't that nice? Two of those. I think there's one more. Yes, this like plain wood kind of one. It's called Glass House. And then the back are the butterflies. So two of those. And then this is a sticker sheet. There are alphas. And then these are all, these I will use, probably not the alphas, but I like to use things like this at the bottom of cards or album pages, recipe pages, that kind of thing. So I love the gingham, the, that pretty prints. They're just all so nice. Love it. So yeah, that is called, what did I say it was? Flower Shop? I think so. Yeah, Flower Shop by Kaiser Craft. Okay, uh, let's go on. I think I have two more places. Yeah, this is getting long. Sorry about that. Uh, Walmart, I picked up, finally picked up this pad of watercolor um, paper, and it's 9 by 12. You get 50 sheets, and it was like $10 and something cents. Um, Sharon from Craft Eccentricity. Hey, Sharon, if you're watching, she recommends this. So I figured I would buy this and not feel bad about like practicing my watercoloring on this. So I did buy that and it works out really good. I did make a project with it. And oh, I got this also from Walmart. This is an acrylic sealer from Aileen's and it's a gloss finish. I'm working on a project. I had to seal um, some paper. So I'll show you that when it's finished, but I did need to get a sealer. So I tried that out and it works great. And oh, I got a couple things from Hobby Lobby. Hold on one sec. All right. Well, the basket is actually from the Target dollar spot. I forgot to show that before. So this was $5. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I just love it. It's woven and it's got a nice green trim on the outside. So I got that. So from Hobby Lobby, I got these two signs. Easter is now 40% off. So I picked both of these up. Uh, Cottontail Cafe, this one here, and then Cottontail Candy Shop. And these were... $4.99 each, but 40% off. So um, what's that, like $2 off or something? So very, very cute. These will be good for decor. I'm going to give one of them away, actually. And then I got these. These were in the Easter craft section, $3.99, also 40% off. They're wood daisies, 24 pieces. And look, they look a little shiny too. So I don't remember seeing these in previous years. Maybe they were around, I don't know. But I love the different colors. I think they'll be great for some 3D projects and you could totally add a jemmy or nouveau drop or something to the center to make it, uh, make the center pop a little bit. And then their ribbon in their wedding section, a lot of it was on clearance. So I got these three, I got um, satin aqua yellow and then a organza, I think it's organza, yeah, pink one. And they were reduced to, this one's 49 cents. Wow, I didn't even realize that. That's a good, pr good price from $2.99. And these were reduced to 74 cents. I wonder what the, why, why they do it differently. But anyway, so yeah, got those. And I love the colors, of course. So that's it for my haul. I was going to show you some projects, but this video is getting really long. So I'm going to do that in a separate video. 
So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Again, I'm so sorry for the confusion about that scammer. I, it, it's so hard to avoid things like that. I know it happens to other YouTubers too, but, and it wasn't my fault, of course, but I still feel horrible about it. So uh, if you, you know, ever have any questions, if you want to give away or something, just email me to make sure because, and I appreciate the people who did that and who let me know that this was happening because at first I couldn't see their comments either. I'd like, I, I don't know why, but finally I was able to see them and I was able to report them and block them. So, but you know, it'll probably happen again. So just be on the alert for any, not just my channel, but other ones that direct you to go to some other weird website. Um, you know, it's probably not legit. And just, you know, better to be safe than sorry and ask the, the person who's uh, who you think you might have won a giveaway from. Okay, so that's it for today, you guys. I hope you have a great weekend. My family and I were going to go see um, a show. It's uh, Come From Away, which I saw on Broadway, and it's coming to our town, too. It's a, it's a great show about 9-11, uh, about how a... Um, a, a town in Canada was host to a, a whole bunch of different um, airplanes that had to stop, you know, how they closed the airspace over the, the United States and they took in all these people and it's a musical. It's so good, so good. So I can't wait to see that this weekend. Uh, it was actually a Hanukkah present to my kids, a ticket. So we're all looking forward to it. All right, you guys, I'll be back with more videos. I've got Saturday morning makes. I have other project shares I want to show you. So stay tuned for those. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all of your lovely comments. I love reading them. Anyway, I've talked long enough. I will uh, talk to you soon and have a wonderful weekend. Bye, everybody.